2001 Ford uh, Focus ZX3 water pump replacement. I'm Brian Nessel from How To Automotive. And I'm going to walk you through that process. Hey, if you guys are doing this at home, you need to jack the car up as high as you can. You're going to do a lot of the work from underneath. If you got a hoist, uh, go ahead and lift the car all the way up. And we're going to start by removing the drive. Now that you got the car up in the air, to the left of the crank pulley here is the tensioner. So you're going to put a 15 millimeter uh, uh, wrench on it or our, our serpent, serpentine belt tool, whatever you have, and then you're gonna rotate it clockwise and that's gonna release the tension and you can slip the belt off. And you might wanna go ahead and like, take a picture with your cell phone or, or, um, or draw a little diagram of how the, how the belt routes. So that's how your setup's gonna look on it and you're just gonna rotate it. And that's gonna release the tension to pull it off right here off the crank. So now to the right of the crank, just to the right of the crank, pulley and just slightly above is the water pump and we need to get this pulley off so they have the 10 millimeter bolt on it so what I like to do is I used to put my 10 millimeter uh, wrench on it then I'll wedge a flat blade screwdriver in between like this and then I'll loosen the bolt and then I'll rotate it around and I'll put it in the next one and I'll and I'll wedge it in there and I'll loosen the bolt and I'll rotate it around and then loosen up the third the final bolt so once, then once you got them all loose, then you don't need the screwdriver anymore. You can probably most likely just walk them out with, by hand by, with your fingers or not. If not, you can wrench them out with your wrench or a ratcheting wrench. Now that that's loose, it, it doesn't want to come out. So what you can do is you can take an 18 millimeter uh, in your impact gun and take off the uh, center nut for the crank pulley and go ahead and take the crank pulley off. And it just wiggles, wiggles on and off. So once you get that out of the way, then you should have plenty of room Plenty of room to get your uh, water pump pulley out of the out. And now that that's out of the way, that's, that gives you a ton of room to uh, to get to the bolts and stuff for the water pump right there. And also you can inspect your timing belt and make sure it's in good shape. So now I'm going to place a bucket underneath it, underneath where the water pump is, and to catch the coolant. Now I'm just going to remove the four 8mm bolts that are in the corners. So there's going to be one that's slightly on the top. You can reach, reach from around the side and get to it. And then this one, this one, and this one. And then once you get them all loose, uh, then right here where this little hash mark is, you put a little pry bar in there and you wiggle it and pry it out. But you, you got to be prepared to run because it's going to rain coolant down on top of you. So once you get the water pump on the bolt, there's not enough room for it to come out. So it's hitting the flame though. So what you're going to do is just going to leave it kind of in there like this kind of out of the way like that and we're going to lower the car back down and i'll show you what you're going to so do what next. we're going to do now is use a block of wood like this on on our floor jack and we're going to slide it under the car and put it directly underneath the oil pan until it's just touching like so then we're going to remove the two nuts here from the motor mount and after we get those two nuts removed we're going to slowly lower the jack down a little bit and the nose of the engine is going to drop and that's going to give us, and we're just going to let it drop a couple inches, and, and then uh, we'll go back from underneath and we'll work our water pump out of the way, give it enough clearance to drop. So after getting it dropped a couple inches, then you should go work it out like that. Now you can go from underneath and put the new, uh, uh, you want to wipe out the, 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 um, the area where the water pump was, the rag and then uh, install your new uh, o-ring that came with the water pump and put it around so go ahead and install your new gasket like this and then go from underneath and go ahead and reinstall this back into the hole and once you get that reinstalled back in the hole you don't have to put any bolts on or anything on it yet then you can go ahead and jack your engine back up and then uh, restart your motor mounts here the bolts and tighten those back up so now you can see the new water pump is stabbed in there and now I'm just going to jack the engine back up so and, uh, and then I'm going to start the two bolts and tighten. Now that they're tight I'm going to lift it back up and I'll start the four bolts on the water pump and uh, tighten it back down. So I'm about to start the new bolts but they don't have any uh, lock washers or anything on them so what I'm going to do is put a little blue thread sealer or Loctite on it here at the shop, I use you use a brand called Permanex. It's a, um, so this is like a little glue that you can put on the on the bolts, and it helps prevent them from vibrating loose and coming back off, and so you won't have a leak in your water pump. So go ahead and put that on. Then you can go ahead and start the bolts and tighten them down. 
And uh, I use a quarter inch ratchet and just kind of do it by feel so you get them nice and snug and then like a, like a little quarter turn more. And that's all you really need. You don't need to super bear down on these bolts. Okay, you also, when you go to tighten this up and put this on, you also want to make sure the little, little uh, expansion plug part right here is facing down towards you. So after you get it all bolted up, now you can go ahead and put on your, uh, your pulley and put the three bolts in it. And you're gonna use the same technique as you did to remove it with when you wedged the uh, screwdriver in there to tighten it up. So you'll tighten that up. So now that you got the water pump fully bolted up, go ahead and put the crank pulley back on, start your bolt, and uh, torque it down. I'm gonna use my impact gun and run it in and just tighten it with my impact gun. And then you can go ahead and put your route your belt. So this is a diagram of how the belt routes courtesy of all data. After uh, getting your belt all in and routed right, you want to just double check that it's in all the grooves on the, all the pulleys. And once you're confident that the belt's on right, you can go ahead and lower the car down and we're going to fill it up with coolant now. So now you can top your coolant off to the proper level and uh, start it up and uh, run it until the thermostat opens up. And the thermostat's over here on the right side, on the driver's side here, the upper hose, you'll feel it get warm and once that's warm this coolant level is going to drop and you're going to have to readjust your coolant level and that, once that does and you also confirmed that the radiator cooling fans operate and run uh, then you can go for a test drive and um, and that pretty much completes the uh, replacement of a water pump on a 2001 Ford Focus uh, ZX3 and I'm Brian Essel from How To Automotive and I'd like to thank you guys for watching my videos